Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Monday. Meteorologist Aaron White here, and we are here for another edition of our 10 Weather Impact Show and talking about the week of Thanksgiving, and we got a lot to talk about here in the forecast as rain is on the way tonight into tomorrow. Cold temperatures for Thanksgiving and a potential system for the weekend that could bring some rain and snow to parts of the region. So a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive into the forecast as we are talking about some changes coming here through the next seven days, and you can see Today, it's mild here this afternoon. We have some clouds rolling in. Temperatures are going to get up into the mid 50s here for today, around 55 degrees. But then the rain arrives. This is our next weather maker arriving here after midnight tonight, and it will continue through tomorrow, bringing us the rain. Potential for some moderate rainfall here at times, and then uh, we could still see a few more scattered showers lingering into tomorrow night. And for early Wednesday morning, that's going to be with a cold front and that will quickly knock down our temperatures as we go through Wednesday. We're starting off around 52 degrees in the morning and then by the afternoon, those temperatures continue to drop. Look at this. We're around 52, 51 degrees in the morning. There's the cold front arriving and our temperatures go into the 40s. By noon, we're already down to 41 degrees and then after that, for the afternoon, we are stuck in the 30s here for your Wednesday afternoon. So it is going to be a chilly day and it's not even just the temperatures. It's going to be the wind on Wednesday. We're talking about winds gusting over 30 miles per hour and it's going to make it feel like it's down into the 20s here for the afternoon and likely going to feel like it's down into the teens here by Thanksgiving morning and for Thanksgiving day. We're only at 36 for a high temperature, 34 on Friday, and then for the weekend, well, we're tracking yet another system that could bring some rain and snow, and especially if you're traveling and traveling up to Ann Arbor for the Ohio State-Michigan game, well, there might be some light snow around, so we have to watch that here for the upcoming weekend, but also, of course, watching what's happening here in the next 24 hours with the rain that we have in the forecast. Now for the last several hours through earlier this morning and into this afternoon, we've been watching the cloud cover building in across the region. That's associated with that weather maker that right now is centered over parts of the central plains area of low pressure kicking out some rain into parts of Arkansas down into Texas and even some rain showers there into parts of Iowa back into Nebraska. And this system's going to do a lot of different things. It's going to bring in the rain for us. It's already bringing the rain to the west and it's also going to allow for some snow across parts of the Dakotas into Minnesota and Wisconsin going through late tonight and tomorrow. Thankfully, we don't have that colder air in place. Otherwise, we would be talking about a different situation. It's going to be too warm. It's going to be mild here tomorrow, so not going to see any snow. Just going to see the rain starting here after midnight. So as we go through the hour by hour forecast here for tonight, rain showers arriving after midnight, some light showers here around three o'clock in the morning. More of the rain still back to the west, but it quickly builds in. So by six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock, just in time for the morning commute, we are talking about some light to moderate rainfall. And if you're traveling tomorrow early for the holiday, just keep in mind roads are going to be wet. There could be some slippery spots in terms of just some ponding on the roadways. Temperatures are going to be too warm for any ice or any pro problems like that, but some ponding on the roads. Just be cautious to avoid any hydroplaning here tomorrow with the rain that will continue through the early afternoon. But by about three, four o'clock, notice it does become a bit more scattered, not as much activity around here for the afternoon hours. So things are looking better as we go through tomorrow afternoon. And then by Wednesday morning, here's that cold front, a quick chance for a couple showers. And then once that passes through, as soon as that happens, our temperatures start to drop. We go from the lower 50s down to the 40s, down to the 30s here by the afternoon. And there's a chance for a couple of flurries here as we have some clouds building in for your Wednesday afternoon. But for the focus on the rain, a half an inch to near three quarters of an inch of rainfall, a pretty safe bet. A few areas could see a little bit less, uh, but I think a half an inch is a pretty good bet for most of central and southern Ohio here through tomorrow. Meanwhile, as we go through a seven day forecast here one more time, that chance for a couple showers in the morning, 52 for high down to the 30s by the afternoon. We are stuck in the 30s here on Thursday for Thanksgiving 30s on Friday as well. And then looking ahead to the weekend forecast, we still are going to be keeping a close eye on that chance for some rain and snow showers here for Saturday 
likely all rain by Sunday, so it's going to be a quick chance for any snow here as we go through the forecast, but it could have some impacts again if you're traveling, if you're heading up to southern Michigan for the game. Just keep that in mind. We are watching another system here as we head into the upcoming weekend, but of course also just uh, some very cold temperatures on the way. Now, as you are hitting the roads here for the holiday, Triple A is predicting holiday road trip like no other. They say 82 million Americans will be traveling and 90% of them will be behind the wheel. Here in Ohio, 3 million folks are hitting the roads, which is up 2% from last year. And so the big question is, when's the sweet spot to get out and skip all the traffic? Well, AAA says the busiest travel days will be Tuesday. Of course, we got the rain and Wednesday, so a little bit better before Thanksgiving. They recommend hitting the road early in the morning if you want to avoid getting stuck in a traffic jam. What happens a lot on that Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving, a lot of people get out of work a couple of hours early. They throw the luggage in the car, they throw the kids, everybody in the car, and then turn back around and then find themselves back in that same lane space fighting for space with evening commuters and it can really turn into some big backlogs. And if you can't hit the road early, AAA says waiting until Thanksgiving Day, the roads should be much lighter and when heading home on Sunday, that's also going to be a busy day. So plan to leave early and especially since our forecast is calling for some active weather here as we look ahead to the weekend with that chance for rain and snow here on Sunday. But for the travel forecast leading up to Thanksgiving right now, for the most part, things are looking OK. We just have the rain here tomorrow, but if you're going to wait until tomorrow afternoon after about 4 p.m., things are looking better and Wednesday really isn't going to be awful of a day in terms of any rain or snow. We're not really tracking much, but it will be a colder day. It also will be fairly breezy, so winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Uh, definitely just keep that in mind as you're traveling. And then as we look ahead to Thursday for Thanksgiving Day itself, most areas, most of the region looking OK, pretty quiet, rather cold. Uh, the only thing to note about Thursday for travel is going to be around Cleveland, uh, where we could be talking about some lake effect snow impacting some areas there as that colder air is really start to starting to build in. So watching a lot of things in our forecast, but also something that uh, a little bit more uh, fun as we get ready for Thanksgiving. Meredith Garfalo is at COSI mixing a Thanksgiving favorite with science. Hard to believe we are already getting to the holiday season, Thanksgiving holiday, and of course, that means for our special at COSI talking about STEM, science, and even space, we've got Joe from COSI, Hello. and we're going to be doing something a little more uh, holiday themed, I hear, today. Yes, so, you know, we, uh, we talk about uh, this bird that many of us are going to be <laughs> eating uh, on Thanksgiving, uh, which I will point out because uh, we we're right down the hallway from our dinosaur gallery. We're going to be eating a dinosaur this year for Thanksgiving because oh. birds Fun are facts. dinosaurs. <laughs> But many people think about turkeys as ground-dwelling birds. Of course, they are. But turkeys can fly for short distances. Now, I don't have a real-life turkey here, but I do have a turkey rocket. And we're going to see if we can make it fly. How about that? That sounds good because, you know, we don't want any turkeys to be harmed in this. And no by the way, this is a science experiment that we are just giving you a behind the scenes with. You really don't want to try this at home. Do because not we try need this safety at home. stuff. Yes, so you'll notice we're now going to be putting on some safety glasses and some cryo gloves because I, in this... Uh, container here have liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is probably the coldest stuff you'll ever see. It's negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a cold turkey. It is a cold <laughs> turkey. It is boiling uh, just at room temperature. I'm going to pour some of it into the jar here, my Erlenmeyer flask, uh, one of the great tools of science. And you can kind of see how it's boiling there. So if we put some into this jar for you, you can uh, show us one of the cool things about it, so as it's boiling, it's turning from a liquid into a gas, right? Right. And I'll give that to you, and then I've got some corks right. for you to put onto the bottle. Okay. So as the gas is turning into a gas, the gas is taking up more room in the bottle than the liquid did. And in fact, there's not enough room in there, so the gas is escaping. But if we cork it up, Ooh. let's see what happens. I guess we're going to have to find out, right? Uh, of course. Oh, there we go. Let's put the cork The gloves in. are a little bit hard to, to use, but they do keep our hands safe. Obviously live TV. Let me try another cork here. All right, so we got this. It's in here. And okay. You see that cork wants to fly off. Sure. So now if we fill up our bottle turkey rocket. Uh-oh, here we go. This is the fun part. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to, instead of putting the cork on the bottle, 
Okay. We're gonna put the bottle on the cork. So I've got that. Uh, you see I'm spilling quite a lot because it's, it's hard to pour a boiling liquid. All right, so we're gonna get our turkey and we're gonna get it angled here and we're gonna try to launch it this way. So we're gonna put the bottle on the turkey. Right. If you can give me a countdown from three, we're gonna do our rocket launch. You ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go turkey, go! Oh. <laughs> Just like real not. turkeys. <laughs> Kapunk. It didn't fly very far. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's for sure. Let's, let's see real quick if we can get it to launch a little bit farther. So how do we make that happen? Well, so the uh, like I said, the, the liquid nitrogen, it's turning into a gas. Uh, the gas takes up uh, more space than we have in the bottle. And uh, it's just like real rockets uh, launch. We've got a pressure explosion. All right. All right we're going to angle my turkey the right way. OK, here, let's do that countdown one more time. All right, last try in three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> well, you know what? I guess that one's going to have to you know, try to run away from Thanksgiving dinner. That's <laughs> but right. But it's really cool, the science we were able to learn today. Oh, yes. Uh, well, real rocketry with uh, a fake turkey, but and we'll give that one a pardon. We'll pardon that turkey for sure. Well, thanks so much for joining us for our monthly segment here at COSI Learning about STEM and space. We'll see you next month. Definitely a lot of fun out there. And also finally for today, before we go, well, let's check out some new video into us here at 10 TV. And this is uh, something interesting that happened uh, just over the last couple of days out in Thailand. They had torrential rainfall that actually led to severe flash flooding in uh, the southern part of the country just over the weekend. And this is uh, from a uh, TPBS showed flooded streets in the southern city uh, there with uh, residents wading through waist high water or leaving on boats actually and local media actually reported difficulties with some of the evacuation efforts there as hundreds of residents and even tourists were trapped inside homes and hotels by rising waters. Officials warned on Monday that water levels are likely to rise in further in several of the southern provinces as more torrential rainfall is really expected to continue here for the next couple of days. So really uh, wild to see some of that video there out of Thailand. Meanwhile, a little bit closer to home uh, back across the uh, west coast they actually had also some very heavy rainfall in southern california but in the higher elevations they had the snow so this is a look at some of the uh, snow top mountain ranges just near los angeles this is a video was actually taken just back on friday just a few days ago following a number of storms that brought again that heavy rainfall in parts of uh, Los Angeles, even down to San Diego, but also the heavier snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains and other mountains there in Southern California. This video actually comes from our sister station KCBS out there in Los Angeles, so pretty uh, wild just to see some of the you know snow and hey, you know, it's uh, pretty much a ski season out there now. Uh, some places like Mammoth Mountain already opening up for the season because of all the snow that they've ha actually gotten here just in the last couple of weeks. So thankfully we're not tracking any snow here locally. We have the rain of the forecast for tonight into tomorrow. We will have to watch that system coming in here for Saturday into Sunday that could maybe bring us a little bit of a rain snow mix, but we'll have more updates on that coming up later on this afternoon. Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in with the latest on the rain and that potential system here for the weekend. So until then, you can always catch more news and weather online as always at 10tv.com.